YouTube, how you doing guys? So I made a video a while back about how to get, oops, how to get um, NVIDIA GeForce Now on your Android. So I took all the guesswork out and I got a link to an APK file that as soon as you click the link in the description it will download um, NVIDIA GeForce Now app and you'll go ahead and install that and then it's going to give you um, NVIDIA GeForce Now. So it's going to take a while for it to load the first uh, couple of times. Um, if you see how mine just loaded up it was extremely quick snappy um, it will speed will get a little bit better over time especially if you have just recently opened it um, so um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the top three lines you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna log into your Nvidia account all right and once you do that GeForce now will be right there and you'll be able to select any of the games you own on Steam that are GeForce compatible. Um, yes, this does work. Um, it works extremely well. And you can play just about anything. It. I don't actually own this game on Steam. I don't know why it's showing up here. It shouldn't be. Remove from library because I don't own it. Okay, there we go. Um... So if you select, uh, let's do GTA 5, we'll click play. I was just playing some ARC. All right, it's going to take a minute to load. Um, I am also on my mobile network, just to let you know. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit slow, a little bit laggy. Um, if you do have a really good internet connection um, with your mobile internet then you can use it just fine or you can use Wi-Fi which works really well <clears throat> the one big thing that you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you have a gamepad or keyboard and mouse connected to your um, your uh, phone or tablet or whatever you're using it on oh geez There we go. And it will load up. And now we are just waiting for the game to launch. It will take a second for it to launch. Or we could just click it right now. Play. Probably because I had to sign in. Mm, normal. And I do have the keyboard popping up. I did have because because I had to use it. Um, but like I said, if you're using a keyboard and mouse or a gamepad, um, you'll be able to close out of it and use that as you need to. To use to get the keyboard to show up, you're gonna click with two fingers, <coughs> and it'll pop up with a little uh, menu bar saying. Uh, use keyboard or whatever <laughs> hope everybody's doing good today remember the link will be in the description just click on it it will automatically download the app and then all you have to do is go to install it'll be good to go um, to test it out you can just use um, the on-screen keyboard WASD uh, to be able to check it out and see how it goes well come on hurry up click on it oh yeah, yeah. I forgot all right we gotta click enter <laughs> I'm sitting over here trying to click on it
So I'm going to let this story mode load up here so I can show you guys what I mean by using the keyboard on the virtual keyboard. It's not, you're not going to be able to uh, play very well with this physical key or uh, this virtual keyboard. It's not worth playing. But I can use it to show you guys what I'm talking about. Here we go. And as you can see, it does look good, even though I have really pretty poor um, Yeah, 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 hurry up. Okay. <coughs> like I said, I have a uh, pretty poor internet connection right now. But, even with poor internet connection, it still works pretty good. Um, this is on low quality, of course, unfortunately. But, everything works. Um, let's see here. So yeah, alright guys, this has been a short tutorial on how to use GeForce Now on pretty much any Android device. Um, shout out in the comments below if you guys find any other good uses for it. I'll see you all in the next one, bye bye.